Well, I'm here with uh, Graham Beal, fresh back from the uh, 2008 Olympics. He's uh, representing the U.S. crewing in the 470 class. Uh, Graham, there was a lot of coverage this year on the web, and from what I saw with all the uh, tough light conditions and uh, the postponements, it had to be a really mentally tough regatta. What, uh, how'd it go for you? How'd you feel about the whole experience? The whole experience was phenomenal. And something that you can only get at that level and that event itself. Um, nothing that prepares you for it other than going once before, so it's uh, really just something new that we hadn't done before, but we really learned a lot. It was a really immensely tough regatta. We had some seven-hour days on the water with only one race, sometimes no races, so there was definitely a lot of postponements on and off water, but we kept our cool, drank some water, and you know, just tried our best. Excellent, excellent. Well, welcome home. We're certainly glad to have you back, and uh, and very happy to be welcoming aboard Graham as uh, as the head coach. That we've been uh, hoping to get on board for quite a while. Um, I'm especially interested, in Graham. You've been obviously training at the top level for several years with uh, with I'm sure a host of the top coaches in the world and a lot of the best venues too. Uh, any particular lessons or ideas that you're hoping to pass on to uh, to our sailors while you're here? The ideas that I just want to get across to the kids is just uh, focus on their sailing, also have fun. You can't be a good sailor without having fun and enjoying the sport that you want to do. The biggest thing that we learned that brought us to the level that we we're at was actually our boat handling skills. We spent a lot of time tacking, jiving, doing short course racing, and it's something I want to get across to the kids because it's something you can always perfect and then you can work on your racing strategy later. But a good base of boat handling is always really important to be at the top level of your game. Nice and solid, get that foundation in. Exactly. Very cool. Hey, one of the things that I see uh, some of our older sailors wrestle with as they move into double-handed sailing especially is either uh, finding and maintaining a good crew or, or maybe even accepting the, uh, the crew position for a little while. Uh, I think it's really cool that you've obviously spent some time up there. Um, how do you think crewing has uh, helped you progress as a sailor? Or, or what other comments do you have on the skipper crew dynamic? Uh, when I was growing up just doing Sabbath sailing, I was never one of the top level skippers, but I was an okay skipper. And I just got to crewing a few times and found that I was much more suited for it and I had a lot more fun. And I just really worked hard at being the best crew I could be. And once I established myself as a well-known good crew, um, the opportunities were endless. I, I was crewing on 29ers, 420s, 470s, everything, and just progressed from there and just got where I am today. So crewing is, you definitely got to set your mind to it, and, but if you work hard at it, you have even as much opportunity as you do as being at home. So it's really a lot of fun. You get to watch the race and enjoy it a little more sometimes. <laughs> Hey, but, uh, but I know you do take the helm from time to time, and I uh, understand you got a new toy on the way. Tell us a little bit about that. That's right. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing a little bit of helming. I've got a moth on the way, so you'll probably see me flying around here in the basin or out in the bay. But I'm trying to keep that a little low-key, but it's the next class I'm looking forward to training for. The moth worlds are in the gorge next, uh, next mid-August, so I'm going to be training for those in between my London 2012 campaign. So. I'll be around. That's very good. Hey, well, you'll let me do the punch, but uh, I have to ask, London 2012? We're there. We're planning to do it this time. We um, we had a great experience this Olympics, and we're definitely more prepared for the next one. Um, the first half of our series didn't go so well, but our second half, we won two races and got to a fourth and a sixth. Um, and uh, we feel like we're even more ready for the next games, and we know we can do it. So. We're going to put our full energy into it again and um, just make sure we're focusing on the right things so we can make sure that you know we have a really solid regard and bring home the medal next time. Awesome. Welcome aboard, Graham. Right. Thanks, Looking John. Looking forward to a great season. Yeah, it should be.